unobstructed view of the sun right now. It's barely peeking through one little gap, but it's still pretty much covered by clouds. And frankly, I have these glasses on and I cannot see a thing up there. Uh, we are hitting that moment of totality. So even if you can't see uh, the sun being blocked out right now, we're experiencing this all around us. It might, go ahead, my photographer here, he can show you this crowd. We got 15,000 people gathered out here for this party. And, and they're feeling these effects all around. This cool moment, we just turned to night. Right, and people are taking this in. A lot of people do have the cameras out. A lot of people don't have them up at all and just are kind of in awe of the moment. And I said this earlier on Twitter, when this started, this ceased being a work assignment. You just become a kid again. You feel like you're in third, fourth grade science class once again studying. So all around us, darkness has fallen without question. But hey, people TJ. are unfortunately not getting the experience of having these glasses on. Go ahead, my man. You know, we talked about this earlier. We mentioned the areas in America where your mind is going to be blown and where your heart could be broken by whatever the weather system is above yeah. you. I got to tell you, you got a minute, 48 seconds left of max totality there in Carbondale. And oh, as folks goodness. at home are sort of feeling this moment with everybody in that stadium just hoping for the cloud to pass because you see huge chunks of blue sky above you. So we're with you on this. I should mention for people watching our coverage right now is that this city is one of the very few cities in the path of totality just a few years from now in 2024. TJ had mentioned this uh, earlier. It's sort of a rare thing. You know, the next path, TJ, it's going to be from the south in yep. Texas, coming across from Mexico into Texas and straight up to the northeast, almost the opposite of the diagonal we're seeing this time. Uh, well, David, I don't, I don't know if that was meant to, to comfort us here necessarily, but uh, yeah, we got seven years. <laughs> You're telling me I got to wait seven years, then I can come back here and try it again, uh, essentially. <laughs> But that's what we have uh, in this moment. This was such a buildup. And I'm telling you, and you know, you've been covering and you've been talking about this all day and just what everybody put into this was essentially a once in a lifetime event for people. Here in Carbondale, it's a once in a seven year event. So if there was any place that wasn't necessarily going to see it and was going to get cloud cover, maybe it's this place and maybe they'll come back again in seven years. But right now you can't tell that there's disappointment. All right, there we go. If you can, David, we're starting to get a little break in the cloud. And if you can't update me about the clock, uh, we might be under 30 seconds left of uh, uh, totality. But we got a cloud that's really messing with us right now, David. Oh, we feel your pain there. 18 seconds left. If anything changes, TJ, we'll come right back to you. As you mentioned, if any place they can handle the clouds or a moment of there it is. indecisive there it is. weather. Oh, you can see it. You can see a little sliver. Look. With five yeah, seconds left, the last few that's seconds. the gift to Carbondale, Illinois. <laughs> Look at that.